So the topic of the day is the rights uh, for the spouse. And this is a very important topic for everyone to listen whether they are married, not married, uh, or are going to get married. Or thinking of divorcing. <laughs> <laughs> and before we start our program, can everyone please put their phone on silent mode? <laughs> and we have our honorable Sheikh Asim Al Hakim to shed some light on the topic, inshallah. So without uh, wasting any time, we welcome Sheikh Asim. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على المبعوث رحمة للع محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اهتدى بهديه واستنى بسنته إلى يوم الدين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. This topic is extremely important but unfortunately the time is limited I did something around the topic of the spouses and marriage in Islam which took me about 16 hours in a workshop called half Dean HD or you can call it high definition but it stands for half Dean in Chennai India and it was, mashallah, a good event that I have benefited a lot from. Unfortunately, we are limited in time. And we would like to go through as quickly as possible to benefit from the time that we... In just looking at the tip of the iceberg. Now, those who are interested in getting married insha'Allah enlightening but those who are currently married would find it a bit disappointing <laughs> see I do counseling and when I sit with the man complaining about his wife and I listen to him I say your wife should be executed and when she comes and tells me about him, I say, your husband should be standing in front of firing squad. And when they sit together with me, half of what they had said is gone. Like butter. At night, it's solid. When the daytime comes, it melts. So everyone is not a victim, is a perpetrator. Everyone. Because when we tell our side of the story, we t tend to show that we are the victims. She did this to me, she did that to me, and I said, Ya Allah, I feel you, man. <laughs> and when she comes and complains, I said, where is your man? I want to beat him. But we have to fear Allah Azza wa Jal. Because yes, I can win when I debate with you. I can over talk you. I can have more logic and beautiful sayings when you are unable to express yourself. But who knows the truth? Allah Azza wa Jal. First of all, we have to understand that marriage is not what do I have in this marriage for myself. It is not something about the most important thing is for you to look at marriage as a favor and blessing from Allah Azza wa Jal. Those who have been married for 10, 20 years say, what blessing and what favor? I'm just doing time. I just want my freedom. Well, then what should I say when I'm 36 years now married, alhamdulillah? And I'm still walking. I don't know how, but alhamdulillah. If I show you my head, you will see high heels, traces. Huh? But from my wife's, mashallah. Seriously, Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned marriage in the Quran. What did Allah say? Allah says, 
and of his signs is that he created for you from yourselves mates that you may find tranquility in them and he placed between you affection and see indeed in that are signs for the people who give thought subhanallah this is what allah says about marriage so marriage is a blessing from allah azza wa jal but you need to acknowledge this in the beginning otherwise you would see it as a menace so now if i tell you how many blessings of allah do you have so though maybe one or two what i have a car but it's not working very good i have a job but i'm thinking of much better job with pay that's it so, yeah, alhamdulillah what about your eyesight? What about your health? What about your children? What about your parents who are well? What about the security you're enjoying here in this country? Uh, yeah, that, that also. You don't recognize Allah's favors. This is why Allah's favors are easily taken out from you. Because when you're not thankful, Allah will take it. Why would Allah keep His grace? upon you if you're not grateful and thankful so you have to acknowledge number one that you are in a ni'mah a favor a blessing from Allah Azza wa Jal now when it comes to right of the spouse this is problematic if you go into a marriage only thinking that it is rights and obligations your marriage is not gonna last long if you think that this is what marriage is, I have rights, she has to give to me, she has rights, my obligations towards her, that's it. Is this marriage? Then you have a problem. Marriage is much, much higher than this. So first of all, before going into rights and obligations, there are common rights between man and a, a woman. These common rights are shared between them. So, first of all, they both have rights. Allah says in the Quran, And Allah says, and due to the wives is similar to what is expected of them, according to what is reasonable. But the men have a degree over them. This is what Allah says. So they both have rights, but the men have a higher degree, which means that the responsibility upon the women in order to deal with their men is much greater than the responsibility of men to treat with their wives. And we will come to mention this inshallah down the line so what are the common grounds between the rights of spouses first they have to cooperate both with one another in advising one another in reminding one another of allah azza wa jal so it is not the responsibility of the man woman wear hijab Woman, go and pray. Woman, fix my nasi gorin and, and, and sadeh. <laughs> this is not your part. She has to also advise you. Why don't you go to pray in the masjid? Why aren't you giving your zakat money every year? Why don't you go and see your mother and father? This is your obligation. My duty as a wife is to remind you, go and call your father and mother and your kinship and be kind to them. And we have so many stories that we can cover, but the time is very limited. The Prophet says, alayhi salatu wasalam, may Allah have mercy over a man waking up in the middle of the night, then waking up his wife. If she refuses, he sprinkles water in her face and she wakes up and they pray night prayer together. And may Allah have mercy on a woman who wakes up in the middle of the night and wakes her husband up. If he refuses, she sprinkles water in his face and he, not a bucket of water, huh? sprinkle, just little 
with love, with compassion. She doesn't want to get divorced. It's too early. Huh? So this is what? On what? On building a house? On buying a new car? On saving money? On akhirah. They have to remind one another of Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah says in the Quran, وَأْمُرْ أَهْلَكَ بِالصَّلَاةِ Instruct your home or, or woman folk with prayer وَاسْطَبِرْ عَلَيْهَا And be tolerant and patient. Remain steadfast. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا قُوْ أَنفُسَكُمْ وَأَهْلِيكُمْ O who you believe, protect yourselves and your families from hellfire. So this is something that is joint between them. Secondly, in marriage, there has to be a manifestation of mercy, tranquility, compassion, love. Each one of them must show the other. It's not as we usually say, no, no, no. Men, they have hard hearts. They fail in expressing their feelings. When was the last time you took your mobile as a husband and wrote to your wife, I love you, I miss you. It's been a long time. And she replies to you, are you crazy? <laughs> you just left home half an hour ago. What's wrong with you? Are you getting married to a second wife? Go on, confess. No, 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 this, it doesn't go like this. Whenever I say such things, I usually am the first to do it. So immediately after it finished, I take my mobile and I send my wife a love message. And it has a great impact because men are stiff by nature. You know, women, they, mashallah, chit-chat. They, they don't hear each other, but they talk. And they talk about their personal things. You know, my husband did this, my husband did that, my father-in-law did this, my mother-in-law did that. They talk about personal things. Men, no, it's taboo. We can sit together, huh? what's the latest model of the car you saw? Oh, what about the football game? And what about buying real estate, uh, mortgage, this? never talk about their personal things. This is how men are made. It is something that has to be shared by both men and women, expressing their compassion. Imagine the Prophet ﷺ says to Aisha, O oh Aisha, by Allah, I know when you're mad with me and when you are pleased. What is this? Aisha is mad with the Prophet? So she says, how is that, O Prophet of Allah? He says, when you're mad with me, you say, no. 